Right. Okay. So the hackathon is uh, one of the standard programs in our annual meeting. This year has no ups, uh, no uh, exception. We will have our hackathon. So Jay and myself will talk a bit more about hackathon. Uh, this year is slightly different uh, with the previous year hackathon. Usually hackathon is a building systems, and we probably will implement some functions, and probably we will work together on planning some new functions. But this year is different. Uh, this year we will Jay will tell you about. Uh, uh, the hackathon contents we already published is not too much to do with uh, enhanced system, but really talking about two things. One is uh, building the ecosystem around the systems and how to incrementally enhance system without touching the core system. It's really coming from our wonderful release of this API, which is uh, how to use it. The second one is really uh, how to uh, explore the potential functions of the systems. And I. So the, the background. So we had this uh, transfer now. Uh, there's many ways to think about the one point achievement. From my point of view, the one point two achievement is really did a couple of things. One is the unified code. So at least we have no have a consistent and uniform view about what is the transmart, the one system. And the second one is, uh, I think, thanks a lot of people to work, particularly the Have. And we actually build a very nice the RESTful API. So the build API, the purpose is really to make the system really become a, a plug-in based. So you can extend the system without keeping change the software. So this is really a very key milestone of the development. And then the third one is we certainly starting to have a reliable code and to actually for sustainable development. But with all these features, right, now we lay down foundation for building our, 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 our future. So I mean, we have to bear in mind, right, building the software is not the goal. The goal is use software to serve the community. Right? The, really, the key success of a software is not how much version you released, is how a version be used broadly and generate the impact. Right? So therefore, this hackathon and the development is largely based on this belief. So with this feature, we will now have a chance to build a sustainable roadmap for further development into standard platform and have an incremental, modular, as well as continued development pathway. So that was the thinking. So the hackathon focus, right? Number one, towards a lean transmart. You, you know, my life experience, right? You better keep yourself lean before getting too fat, right? So that is exactly what we're thinking about it. So we build a lean transmart. What I mean, the core system small, but actually have a rich ecosystem. The second one, it enhances charts with the plugin and the workflows. That's leading to the incremental and the modular development. Build a transmart ecosystem and explore the existing functionality. It will be pretty sad. You have one function inside the transmart and not, not, not too many people know it. It's not because they're useless, it's because you don't really know. That's also a not quite scenario. So there's one, a lot of example we are now working and thinking this way. There's a good example here is how to enhance the transmitter function and really use existing uh, plugins and the API. So this is the one of very interesting Etrex work done by the University of Luxembourg with the team here, uh, with the Surge and the we go and uh, Vataka, right? And they, you can ask them. They build in a couple of days a uh, workflow to implement, the, reproduce the transmart GWAS function, but extend it to a much more flexible way to actually allow you to do a de novo uh, snip analysis. Just by write, use API, and use the Galaxy plugin. So you can see transmart 1.2 still stay the same but the functionality can be enhanced really by writing workflows and by using the API plugin external function. So that's for this reason, and Jay designed these two very exciting uh, uh, hackathon functions. And one is really do the workflows, use API and Galaxy, like the, like the workflow did by the Luxembourg people. The other one is activate 
one of the very important function. How many people use the sample uh, explorer? Oh, yeah, now look, <laughs> there's only one. Yeah. So what we did is we integrate his sample explorer code into the transfer now and let people to use it and let people to actually enhance this particular function, which is now, we believe, is very useful. So by this, I leave to Jay to explain this one. So, you can hear me. Uh, actually, I'll, I'll just keep, oh, thanks. Let me, let me just keep it simple. So I'm, I'm from Pfizer. We've been Transmart users for a couple of years. And GK and I also co-lead Etrix, which is an IMI program for uh, translational research data management. And at Pfizer, we've, when, one of my goals for this year was to really bring Transmart from just basic data management for translational research and actually bring analytic components in and make it really sing for the scientists who are my customers, the scientists who are customers for, for Etrix. And that's actually lagged a little bit. We focus so much in taking all these different branches, all these capabilities and pulling them together that one of the that that goal is kind of lagged for me. And I think now we're in a position to do this and really turn Transmart, again, as DK says, from what is a data management system into something that is a data analytic suite and a tool set that can really sing for our, for our customers, for, for yourselves. Um, in addition, actually, Venkata had showed me the work that he's done, which I think is, is really extraordinary. Um, GWAS is very close to our heart. We implemented that a, a couple years ago. We've provided that as 1.2. And now Venkata has just summary statistics and, and Manhattan plots, interactive Manhattan plots. Venkata has provided a workflow where you can go from genotypes to a Planck-like algorithm, run your logistic regression, produce your summary statistics, and now those are, can be available in Transmart interactively for people who have that kind of interest. And this is what we want to grow, and this is how we want to decorate Transmart with these, with these types of analytics. I think Sample Explorer is something that, when we're looking for hackathon topics, something that Yanni Pandas, who is part of EK's group at Imperial and part of Etrix, had raised, this is something that's really, really valuable, and it's the sleeper part of Transmart that almost no one has used, with the exception of Paul, who's been able to, to take that component of Transmart and really make it useful from a sample logistics perspective for, for Harvard. And what a great opportunity that is to provide that to other groups that may need this kind of lightweight sample logistics capability. And that was one of the things that wasn't on the list for 1.2. And we have an opportunity to actually bring, bring that in and have this other, I think, really enabling capability. And that's what we're going to focus on. And we'll, we'll say one other thing. The folks at UMichigan, uh, Evo, who I haven't met yet, but folks on Brian's team. One of the things that they would like to do, and I think to some extent have already done, is to link Transmart with the laboratory neural imaging at USC with the imaging pipelines that they provide. And we wanted that as one of the hackathon topics, but we were kind of, to some extent, a little bit stymied trying to understand whether or not everyone could use the data because uh, they wanted to use the, the Alzheimer's disease neural imaging set. But that's going to be going on as well. And I think... So there are really three topics here. And if people who are interested in the Lani workflows or interested in, in image analysis and bringing that component as part of Transmart, might want to talk with Evo and the team at University of Michigan and maybe look over their shoulders as they're, they're doing their thing. So I'll leave it there, but I think we have two really great topics for the hackathon, two things that are tractable, two things that are valuable, and, and a third from University of Michigan, which is especially for, for image management. All right, thank you. Thank you, yeah. So we have about 50 people. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Here we go. So we have about 50 people actually registered. Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah. So there's a quite a. But I think is a building this two hackathon case is a one of the purpose. The other one very important here now is really we learn the functions we already built API for example, and we have a first speed. Well, we have the developer here, but also the people who have first hand experience. On um, building system using the API are uh, now all in the in the team, and also we have uh, um, I was from the Harvard University as here. They he intensively use this uh, uh, sample explorer 
So therefore, we also have the people here, and the code is already integrated. So now we can actually do the hackathon. There's a website here on talking about the code and talking about the preparation you need to do. It's all in the uh, community website. So hope you enjoyed hackathon and that I really get a lot of out of it. Thank you.